Hi friends, subscribers and angry people on X. My name is Daniel Rosell and this YouTube channel focuses usually on life in Israel with occasional diversions into international politics. Yesterday I scooped a world exclusive reporting on the fact that after decades of being hated on by large sections of the Irish population, frustrated Israelis were considering instituting a unique form of reverse BDS. According to a petition I found online, Israelis are considering boycotting Irish products sold in Israel for the first time. This list of goods includes whiskey, gin, other types of alcohol and baby formula. The breaking of this international scoop has drawn a very strong response from Irish people on Twitter. At the time of producing this video, my tweet has been viewed more than 61,000 times today alone. According to preliminary analysis, many of those reacting angrily in Ireland are strong supporters of Richard Boyd Barrett, Sinn Féin and anybody else who likes to get up in Dáil Éireann and accuse Israel of being a war criminal, ethnic cleanser or the world's worst operator ever of an apartheid regime. Reactions from Irish Twitter users have included multiple variations of fuck off, expressions of thanks from Irish people who don't seem to understand how purchasing boycotts work and please fucking do settler. I also received a steady stream of hate mail from Ireland throughout the course of the day. Jared O'Hagan told me to stay in Israel you genocide supporting monster while Nukepixel X111 wrote in saying that genocidal Zionist cunts like you deserve to be curb stomped. The user added that while Jews are more than welcome to make Ireland their home, Zionists apparently deserve to be brutally murdered. So thanks to Nukepixel for making that helpful distinction as to when their behaviour may take a turn for the grizzly. So while the reaction from Ireland to the proposed boycott was overwhelmingly a hostile and sometimes murderous one, users based there do seem to have picked a couple of flaws in the theory that Israelis may not have yet considered. The first logical flaw that Irish users jumped to was the potato crop. Many Irish ex-users seem unaware that Israel actually produces its own potatoes and is thus not dependent on Ireland for the supply of the ever popular root vegetable. So although it seems like a lack of potatoes won't prove to be the undoing of the blossoming Israeli boycott plan, there are more serious threats to face on the medical front. In response to a question asking what Ireland sells to Israel other than whiskey, a Twitter user by the name of Dylan O'Dose responded, Viagra and Botox, enjoy your limp dick and your wrinkles. Another user has racked up almost 100 likes for stating, we also have really great potatoes, but the main thing we're good at is opposing colonists and apartheid. This YouTube channel was able to confirm that Ireland does indeed appear to produce the majority of the world's supply of Viagra. According to successive articles in the Irish media, the town of Ringeskiddy in County Cork produces the majority of the popular EDE drug, presumably including that which is exported to Israel. At the time of publishing this video, a query to Israeli pharmaceutical company Teva asking whether they would be able to pull up the slack or rise the flagging mask did go unanswered. However, a family doctor friend said that in the event of a successful boycott of Irish goods, local pharma giants would almost certainly step up to the task of producing the popular erection pill. For Botox, my team of researchers and I didn't get around to investigating the claim yet. Amid all the angry reaction from Ireland, the official Twitter account of the State of Israel was tagged during the course of the day. However, so far there has been no official reaction from either government about what may be the world's first boycott of the BDS movement itself. It's even speculated that Richard Boyd Barrett may soon launch into a rant about this, but we still can't predict the future. 